Hello guys. Today I'll show you some of my R&D how to use translucency parameters inside V-Ray for 3ds Max. Now you can see that we do have a very very simple scene and if I take a render of this scene you have a sphere light and a model which we have some rim light in it. Now to get your translucency effect you have to use this translucency section. Now this section is now none and we have some model that hard soft and hybrid hard is for wax soft is for water and hybrid for everything but hybrid is much more accurate than both of them and soft is very very slow to render so i recommend you that do not use soft at all. Hard is okay, but hybrid is more than okay. So in this case, I'm going to take hybrid. And you can see that there is no changes in our render because of your translucency is only applicable for your refraction. If you don't have refraction in your model or shader, it cannot have any kind of translucence effect. So to do so, you have to use this refract parameters. So click on this and you can take a gray color. And same gray color, you can take it in your fog color. So this refract color and fog color, if you put it gray, now you'll get that some translucency effect and this back side color you can change it to red color like our skin and it is very very hardly visible you have this light multiplier if i increase this multiplier you will get that this is now much more pronounced than before so now you can see that the red color is coming from the back side and coming in front of this model. This is back side color. Like in our ear, in our hand, it happened like that. So now see this thickness is quite okay. And the thickness is like scale or radius. That how much far that from the edge the red color is gonna come to the inside of that model so if I make it 5 you can see this very less kind of uh, penetration of the trade color from the back side on the front so you can use that or the multiplier of your light should be very low like 20 or so so this is how you can handle your subsurface scattering effect by this translucency section. Now this scatter and forward backward should be left alone. I recommend you that do not use that. This is feather or you can say fall off. If I make this 50, you can see that like you can say this is one kind of decay of your light so it will be not coming here and abruptly it will be ended you can see that if i make it one you can see that this is coming and gone so this is like not a uh, very very realistic and make it zero one is your by default you cannot increase more than that so don't need to use this and forward and backward is also same thing if I make it zero it will make your effect even more pronounced than ever so
so it should be left in one only so i don't touch those parameters only you have to use this light multiplier backside color if you need to change it from material to material you can change that and hybrid is very good model you can use that hard model also no problem with this but soft is very very uh, slow for rendering and I can see very noisy and is getting uh, it will take huge time to render to clean the noises so in this case I'm going to take hybrid model which is much more accurate than both of them and this thickness that how much you need this uh, from the edge to inside so this is the thickness or radius or scale you can see so one more thing that you have to use is refract and fog color otherwise you can't get this effect at all so hope you have liked it thanks thanks a lot for watching